Now, Seth Jones, who has worked in various capacities for U.S. Special Operations Command, including in Iraq, a member of the International Security and Defense Policy Center with the RAND Corporation, and author of Hunting in the Shadows, The Pursuit of Al-Qaeda After 9-11. Seth, good to see you tonight. And so this man, uh, now already on the FBI's 10 most wanted list, grew up in Boston, went to Northeastern University, was supposedly a relatively normal guy, and then somehow becomes radicalized. And now he, we're, we're told, is the point man for the social media campaign for ISIS? Well, Megan, it, it looks like he is a point man. I don't think we've confirmed yet that he is the point man, but that he's playing a major role. And this is important for two reasons. One, he's got computer savvy skills that he honed in the United States at Northeastern. Second, he speaks fluent English and Arabic. So he's able to communicate these on social media forums and get this message out from ISIS to Americans and other Westerners, making him extremely dangerous. How we've, we've been covering the three who came out of Minneapolis, two of whom died fighting for ISIS, one of who died in Somalia. Now we've got a guy from Boston who may be right now, he's born in 1981, he's a relatively young guy, maybe right now working with them to spread these, these videos of the beheadings, the other propaganda that they put out there to make themselves sound so terrible, which they are, but they use it to inflate themselves. How? How does an American kid who's got a dad who's some well-respected doctor at Mass General wind up like this, doing this? Well, the radicalization process of most recent individuals, in, including Abu Samra, part of it was actually online. He was, while he was at Northeastern and even afterwards, involved in these uh, internet jihadist chat rooms. He was involved in following uh, and downloading uh, YouTube videos of prominent jihadist clerics. The, the social media forum has become very critical to the radicalization process from American soil right now, which makes the stuff that ISIS is doing uh, so dangerous. They can, they can make their way into American homes. Mm -hmm. It's ironic because they use it to recruit him and now he uses it to recruit others. In the exactly. meantime, we heard from core Al-Qaeda, if you will, today, the old Al-Qaeda, the one that parted ways with ISIS uh, not too long ago, in a video that was released by Zawahiri, their leader. Now, they're still very focused on attacking America. ISIS and its leader, Baghdadi, claim that they're focused on attacking America. Here he is, Zawahiri. He's back again in front of his curtain. Um, and I ask you tonight whether this is Al-Qaeda desperately trying to re remain relevant and who, which, which of these two groups are we most concerned about right now? Well, right now, I, I would say the most serious plots emanating uh, and directed towards the U.S. homeland are coming from Zawahri's organization, the Yemen branch uh, that's led by Nasir al-Wahishi. And then it looks like Khor al-Qaeda has some stuff underway based out of Turkey right now that's targeting both Europe and the U.S. homeland. So I would say right now, the al-Qaeda group does have, does appear to have some ongoing plots that make them a little more dangerous. The fact that we have so many Westerners and Americans in Syria and Iraq, though, is a much more long-term concern. My last question to you is this. Do, at first glance, you think, okay, Al-Qaeda and uh, ISIS, they don't get along, they don't like each other, they're fighting, let them fight. But then you think if they're in some sort of power struggle to prove who's, who's bigger, uh, and they, I mean, how focused are they on attacking the United States in order to claim that, that, that prize? Well, they, they are in competition to some degree with each other. And we've seen on the ground in Syria that al-Qaeda's uh, affiliate, Jabhat al-Nusra, has engaged in active combat with ISIS in various parts, particularly of uh, southeastern Syria. But I would say, you know, the, the bigger issue here, though, is they are increasingly in some competition for now striking targets in the region and overseas. That makes ISIS growing, a growing concern. Mm. Seth, good to see you. Thanks, Megan.